this to work, you must have a graphics card with a HDMI output or a mini HDMI output, a secondary computer such as a laptop, and a Elgato Game Capture HD with all the cables it comes with. Thank you. So as you can see here, my computer screen is on is in the Elgato software, and today I'm going to show you how you can get it into the um uh your graphics card to your computer into the software. So first you need the capture card which is right here and what you need to do is connect it as if you're going to connect it into an Xbox or PlayStation 3. Um the HDMI out is connects is one that connects to your TV and the USB connects to the laptop. On the other side we have the AV in which is only for PlayStation 3 but we don't need that. And the HDMI in uh, connects to your graphics card or the, your graphics card connects to the HDMI in. And that's all you need to for connection. It's really easy. It's a lot it's a lot easier than I thought it would be at least. All right. So now the USB connects to my laptop which is uh, right there. And now I'm going to show you guys what settings you need to do in the software to get it to record. And here we are in the computer. Now you open up the Game Capture HD. This is on my laptop, by the way. And one moment, please let it load up. And for this to work, if you use an Xbox or anything, you go, you need to click on the little tools and wrench right there. I already have it set up, but this is what this was the settings that you need to do. You click on there and you go to Other. Um, click on Other, and then Input HDMI and Quality. You want to put to, to HD 1080 if you want to have it 60 frames per second if not if that doesn't matter to you you can keep it at 720p which is 30 frames per second uh, HD um, uh, the 1080p by by for 60 frames per second is for montage makers that do a lot of editing and stuff and they need it to be 60 frames a second but if you're just uploading and stuff like that I would just recommend having it at 720 uh, quality best don't don't mess around with it too much and that's all and it, it should it should pop up on your screen make sure you're on the HDMI channel for your TV and that's all you really need to do um, I'm going to show you some gameplay that I was recording using this uh, this method now what I like about this method is that there's no lag whatsoever and you don't need to have a super computer to like uh, a lot of cores like an i7 or a heck of a graphics card to run fraps but also play your games at the same time there's zero lag with this, which which is something I really really like. Also with this, I was recording and I it was less of a hassle because I didn't have to always worry about uh, dropping frames or anything like that. It it always kept at a constant frame rate, and I was also recording on my laptop. And also, if I ever lost a clip or anything, I could just go back and get it again. So that's the one thing I like about it. GTA this is running it at full settings on my uh, GTX 670. And we're gonna switch over to COD real quick. Here's a little COD clip that I was getting. I was playing it just to just to get this uh, video out, just to show you guys uh, that it, the quality is really good, especially for what you pay for. And the device is very small too, which I really like. So it's like a little review about it too. So far, I've been using it a lot, and nothing it hasn't it hasn't made it hasn't showed any signs of not being like an HD PVR or anything that this thing is probably even better than it in my opinion at least and yeah well you guys can watch the rest of the game I thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day okay uh, for me when I was recording oh, this is one more thing by the way uh, when I was recording uh, I didn't get any audio out of it I don't know if it maybe if it's just me or something but when I was, I'm just letting you guys know uh, because when I was recording, I didn't get any audio out of it. But maybe you guys can figure out a way to get audio. I haven't figured it out yet, but hopefully when I do, it'll it'll be better. But but I I don't use audio in my gameplay too much because uh because I, I usually just delete it out. I usually talk over it or I just upload it straight up to YouTube. But this is the game Dirt, by the way. In case any of you guys are wondering how it looks with a uh, racing game, this is Dirt at its full settings. I th yeah, I'm pretty sure it's at its full settings. And also, yeah, now now it's it. Thank you guys for watching.